In a horrific incident from France, a mass stabbing spree took place in a southwest town. Several people were critically injured in the stabbing attack, including a 22-month-old child. Police rushed to the scene and opened fire. Horrifying videos have now gone viral on social media. The 90-second video shows the attacker, a Syrian refugee armed with a knife dressed in black, carrying a blade, running around the public park, attacking bystanders. Meanwhile, France President Emmanuel Macron expressed a shock over the incident and called the attack as an act of absolute cowardice. All our thoughts are with those affected by this unfathomable attack, including a British child and with their families. I've been in touch with President Macron. We stand ready to offer any assistance that we can. Four children and an adult are wounded and some in critical condition after a knife attack by a Syrian national at a playground in this park in France. That's according to police. It happened in the town of Annecy in the Alps. Witnesses say at least one of the children wounded in the attack was in a stroller. Police said the wounded children are aged between 22 months and three years. A police official told Reuters the attacker had legal refugee status in France. He was not known to security agencies and his motives were unclear, according to an investigative source. The interior minister says that the attacker is under arrest. Police said in condition while two children were slightly hurt. French President Emmanuel Macron said in a statement on Twitter that the nation was in shock, calling the attack an act of absolute cowardice. This resident is saying everyone expects this to happen in big cities like Marseille, Paris or Lyon, but now the target will be places where no one expects it to put fear into people. One eyewitness told French news channel BFM TV that the attacker jumped in the playground and started shouting before going towards the strollers and, quote, repeatedly hitting the little ones with a knife. The French parliament observed a minute of silence to mark the incident. This morning, of course, our thoughts are with the victims and uh, the families, and we stand ready to support the French authorities in whichever way uh, we can. Also aware that uh, one of the uh, people, one of the children injured, was a, a British national. We have already deployed British consular officials who are travelling to the area to make themselves available to uh, support the family. And of course we stand in strong solidarity with the people of France at this terrible time. And Sanjay Suri continues to be with us. Sanjay, what an unfortunate news. I just want to understand what is the update in terms of the number of people who were injured and how is their condition now? Uh, we had four children injured. Two of them were French, one British and one Dutch. And these are little uh, children between uh, two and a half to three years of age. Also, two adults were injured. Uh, one of them, an elderly gentleman, who was injured by this person with a knife. He was also unfortunately injured when the police fired on him. And so he really got injured twice over. He is in hospital in critical condition. On the state of the children, we had some reassurance earlier. We were told that they are now stable relatively. But again, now uh, this morning, we had word from the authorities saying that two of the children do remain in emergency and life-threatening conditions. So everyone really is deeply concerned and the first thought uh, on everyone's mind is that uh, these two children should be well and that they should recover. Sanjay, I also want to understand any more details now emerging as far as the attacker is concerned. We were understanding he was a refugee. Any understanding of what the motive was? Well, we know that he is 31 years old. He is Syrian. Uh, we know that Ten years back, uh, as far back as that, he had applied for asylum in Sweden and he was granted asylum in Sweden. He then sought to get citizenship of Sweden, which he was refused twice over. He then traveled to Italy to seek asylum. He was refused. He then went, well, in recent days to France to seek asylum and that was refused on the grounds that he already has been granted asylum in Sweden. 
And because he had been granted asylum in Sweden, he had freedom of movement. Uh, there was also, we are hearing from witnesses that some sort of a religious element, and he said while attacking that this is in the name of Jesus Christ. He is known on record to have been perhaps of Christian faith, but all this has to be examined carefully. It will be the subject of close investigation. Uh, what people declare in their papers, uh, particularly a lot of people who seek asylum and get into migration through this route, what they say on paper is not what is the evidence in fact. So that will be investigated. There is no known criminal record. This is okay. not being treated as a terrorist offense. And later today, he's due to be examined for his mental condition.